Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at another example of how to deal with the time shifting property of the Fourier transform. Notice that we have an input function f of t, which is in this case defined as e to the minus 5t times a step function ut, then the Fourier transform will look like this. Now what happens when we have a time shift t minus 2? Well, what happens now is just like before, we have to add this term right here. We have to multiply the original Fourier transform and multiply times e to the minus j omega t because nothing else has changed. Simply a time shift has occurred. That means that now the Fourier transform is going to look as follows. So that's going to be equal to, instead of writing a 1, we're going to write e to the minus j omega and the shift t is a shift of 2 so we put in the 2 here and then we divide that by what we had left 5 plus j omega now what happens when we again have a shift of 2 but instead of a 5 we have a 1 here then this becomes the follows this becomes equal to e to the minus j omega times 2 so that hasn't changed in the denominator instead of a 5 here we're going to have a 1 plus j omega so notice that's the only change we would have then so now you can see how to apply a time shifting property in this particular case that's how it's done